Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great week. Uh, today, I kind of wanted to come and talk to you guys about something that has been really important to me and that I've been thinking about incorporating into my channel more, and that's fitness. Um, I've been trying to go on this fitness journey lately and now I feel like I'm at that point where I'm really trying to give it my all and stick to it so I kind of want to document my journey not only for myself but to help maybe some people out there who just are stuck in a rut or can't find that self-motivation or that push that they need so I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any feedback by all means share it with me as well so the first part of my fitness journey is um, my diet so I've always been a fit person but I've never eaten well like I've always worked out five to seven days a week but my diet was always lacking I was still eating processed foods I was still eating takeout fast food greasy food non-healthy food and although on the outside I looked good on the inside I didn't feel as healthy as I could be like I was still sluggish still tired still I felt gross inside so now what I've been doing is trying a vegetarian diet which is a bit hard for me because I am a very big meat eater especially red meat like I love steak but I find that eating a lot of meat just weighs me down and I have read studies where it's just like you know you shouldn't consume so much meat like it's not good for your body you kind of are poisoning your body in a sense so I'm trying to cut back on it I'm not restric restricting myself entirely but I have cut back a lot like for breakfast and lunch I will stick strictly to a vegetarian meal and then for dinner it'll be vegetarian or sometimes I might add meat if I feel like I need the extra protein or I just want to eat meat so um, a normal meal for me throughout the day would be overnight oats for breakfast some fruit for a snack lunch I'd have baked sweet potatoes um, quinoa or couscous and sauteed veggies most of the time it's uh, sauteed peppers and then for dinner I'll either have just a vegetarian meal or a meal with some meat in it like tonight I had anti pesto pasta with no meat so that was my vegetarian dinner and I have to say I've been doing it for about a week now the week and a half and I do feel better like I know that I will not go strictly without meat but I don't feel like I've been missing it in my diet that much and if I do get a craving for it I will eat it and another thing that I've been doing lately is changing my approach to fitness before I just go to the gym or I'd go run and that would just be what I do every day as my fitness and it worked for a while but as of late I've gotten so bored with it well not even as of late for the past year I've been so bored with like the mundane gym workouts and like running and stuff like I just felt like I needed something to spice up my workouts and make it more enjoyable and actually something I look forward to so um, I've started doing hot yoga, which I really like a lot. It's not something that I see myself doing every day, but like once in a while, just to like cleanse my pores, cleanse my body, and just like give my muscles a great stretch. I find that it has been helping me a lot with that and with my flexibility as well. And something else that I've been doing is Muay Thai. So a couple of weeks ago, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but a couple of weeks ago, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to do it. Like I went to a gym and it's like one of those real Muay Thai gyms. It's not kind of like a cookie cutter gym where it's just like, oh, you're doing cardio with a group of people. Like it is that like gritty, like one on one boxing. Well, yeah, boxing kind of cardio. And I, I love it. Like after that one hour, I honestly feel every muscle hurting and I'm like, dying panting for breath just sweating and it has definitely been a great change and spice up to my workout if you will so I definitely like doing that and it's something different like it's something that I'm actually learning techniques and stuff that I can use in everyday life for self-defense and whatnot so I've really been liking that and then something else that I've uh, added to my new fitness uh, lifestyle is a personal trainer now my personal trainer he doesn't train with me every day or every week or anything like that because he said that he doesn't think that I need a personal trainer like that so what he has done for me is set up a workout plans for me and once a month he'll meet me to kind of go over the whole plan just to make sure I know how to do the workouts and everything and then at the end of the month he meets with me just to see my progress if anything needs to change 
and whatever feedback I have for him or he has for me. And I've honestly, I'm happy with it because when I worked out by myself, I know that I was limited to the workouts that I knew. Like I wasn't really incorporating other workouts just because this is all I know. Like I'm not gonna try to do anything out of the box and do it wrong. So he's definitely been pushing me to try new things and he's also opened my eyes to a different alternative to certain workouts that I've been doing and I just like it because it's also another sense of accountability because when you are working out just for yourself, you don't really feel accountable. Like if you don't want to go to the gym, you won't go. You have no one to answer to. But like, I feel like I have to go to the gym because if he messages me and he's just like, did you do the workouts today? It's just like, uh, no, I didn't. So it's like, it's just someone else to feel accountable to and just to make sure I stay on the ball. So I've really been liking that a lot. And when I talk about a fitness lifestyle, this is something that I want to be permanent. This isn't something that I want to be temporary or I lose weight and then I stop doing it. Like I really want to make fitness a major part of my life because when I'm fit, I feel good like mentally I'm more alert I'm more aware I have more energy like I like the way I look in clothes so like my self-esteem skyrockets like I'm just happier when I'm fit and I'm happier when I'm eating well in my body I just have a lot of energy my skin is clear my hair grows faster like I just look better I feel better and like the way I process thoughts is just clearer and I, I like that and whenever I'm not healthy I just feel sluggish I don't want to do anything I'm not motivated so I want to make fitness and a healthier lifestyle a big part of my life and something that I can keep up for the rest of my life like I'm tired of doing fad diets and stuff because you do them they work out but then you don't want to continue with it because it's like hell like when you do these fad diets you're cutting out everything that you love from your diet and you're basically just eating stuff that you're not happy with whereas with a lifestyle change I'm not gonna cut out anything that I love I'm just gonna have it in moderation like they say everything in moderation so cutting down the meat that I eat I still will eat sweets but I'll just eat less of the sweets and just eat better for myself in a whole. And yeah, so if you guys wanna follow this fitness journey, by all means, please leave any comments you have down below, any suggestions. And if you want, you could use me as a source of motivation. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you guys do's and don'ts, a lot of don'ts of what you shouldn't do, but again, this is a journey, you learn through your mistakes, you know, you fall and then you get back up, so I'm excited for this. So this is the first video, I know I rambled a lot, it's just because I had so many ideas to get out to you guys, but I'll definitely with each segment kind of hone on in, hone in on different aspects. So what I want to do is kind of give you guys weekly updates of how my fitness journey is going like any setbacks or anything that I see that works for me that might work for you guys and oh I forgot to mention so right now I am working out seven times a day and I want to do that for a month only because I know myself if I don't see results soon enough I start to get discouraged and I don't want to get to that point so I feel that with working out every day I will be able to start seeing results faster and that will push me to keep going with this and then of course gradual results will continue to happen and I will like maybe cut back on the workout some if it's like too much but if it's not then I don't have any problem with working out every day because some workouts you don't have to do like an hour or two hours of workouts sometimes you can do 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minute workouts and as long as it's just something that's going to kick your butt and get your heart rate running and you know get you sweating a little bit that's all you need so of these seven days um two of them will be muay thai uh and the other three will be the gym or if i can't oh yeah the other three will be the gym and then two of them will just be like a home video uh 30 minute workout plans oh uh fitness blender i think it is on youtube those are the videos that i watch like when i'm doing a home workout i watch the fitness blender videos and they have so many different types they have types that you can you know hone in on core or your butt or your legs or your arms or even just a full cardio video and they even have videos for people who get bored easily like myself so you'll find everything that you want to on youtube honestly and Again, just as long as you get moving, that's all you need. So I'll definitely be working out seven days. I'll continue with my vegan diet, vegetarian diet. Um, I don't even, 
it is a vegetarian half vegetarian diet so I will continue eating that way and I will let you guys know my meal plans and how I meal prep and stuff like that and yeah if anything comes up or if anything changes I'll be sure to let you guys know and until next time I'll talk to you later bye